Okay, everybody, what's going on? This is Mythos. Welcome back to another concept video. Today's concept comes from a user on Twitter uh, named Nate T Bird. So thank you for him for suggesting making it. It was a really fun challenge and it was actually quite challenging. So this concept actually already exists in a mod. Um, it is a really nice item, more so a tool that uh, helps you. So everybody knows the regular diamond pick. Just mines one block at a time like this, and holy crap, anytime there's entities on the floor, I do lag because of the amount of command blocks involved in this. Well, this is the hammer from Tinker's Construct that can be made in the table. Destroys the 3x3, three three, drops all the blocks for you to pick up. So, um, this does actually mine the same speed as a diamond pick, because it is uh, it is just a renamed diamond pick. So, I took it upon myself to try to find a way to balance it. Uh, so, it's real hit and miss on whether or not it works because of how it's set up. So, you'll see it didn't work. And if we keep trying it here, eventually it will work, but, uh, yeah, so we'll just keep placing blocks here, and eventually it will. But it takes maybe a few tries for it to actually work, and it's probably not worth waiting around if it doesn't work the first time and just keep doing this. So you're probably better off just, uh, constantly destroying, or just destroying all the blocks, but the downside to that is, if I mine that block, there is a chance that it will work that time. So, you'll see if I keep going. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. Like I said, really hit and miss just for balance sakes. Uh, I probably could make it work 100% of the time if I wanted to, but it was really um, unbalanced in that way, so because in such a way that you could um, mine nine blocks in the time it would take you to mine one. Um, and I'm gonna have to turn that off. There you go, worked that time. So, it's just toggle downfall. And just to brighten up our sky a little bit, let's jump into the command blocks. Okay, so everything starts over here with these 11 command blocks, or sorry, 9 command blocks. Each one represents a different inventory slot, and basically what it's doing is testing for uh, a diamond pickaxe, well not even a diamond pickaxe, but something named mining hammer in the person's inventory. So it's testing slot 2B, which is actually slot 3, so where my stake is, and it just goes from this block right up to this block. So every time it does, it adds one to a scoreboard called has block, or not has block, has hammer. So if we go uh, scoreboard, no, that's game mode, whoops. Scoreboard objectives, uh, oops, let's remove. Set display, sidebar, has hammer. You'll see that I have a has hammer value of zero, but if I go to here, has hammer value of two, one, zero, and one. So it constantly just tests what, uh, where your hammer is in your inventory if you have one. So it works for every slot in your hotbar. So it's handy in that sense. And then it also comes around here and it tests um, for a block on the ground called block, or it adds one to a scoreboard of a block called block I. And every time there is an entity on the ground, uh, you can see the entity name here, Minecraft stone. Uh, Minecraft stone one. These are the these blocks, the granite diorite and and andesite, and then we also have sandstone, uh, lapis ore, diamond ore, um, gold ore, iron ore, cobblestone, and just a few other stone types and stuff that it really needs to work on. So when once that works, it adds it to the scoreboard of block I, which is what we need for execute commands. So. Once the commands are being executed, we actually look up here and we test for a, an entity with a block I of one and we execute command three blocks under that. And we execute a test for A with a hammer, has hammer score of between one and two, so either one or two, and it's only, it can only be one, um, and a score of break, uh, break, and then I have break one to 11. Uh, each one representing a different item that can be broken by the, the hammer to break in a 3x3 three three area. Um, and it tests for one with a value of one, and then it tests for a player in a radius of three of that block that has been broken. So it does that for every single one of these command blocks. So from these four and this one, right down to this. They, they test... Uh, negative x, positive x, negative y, positive y, negative z, positive z, and it, uh, in, in the direction of the radius, so it'll test like, um, one will test this three blocks this way, one will test three blocks this way, one will test three blocks this way, this way, up and down. But sadly, the up and down one are quite bugged and don't work 100% of the time. So why do we have all these command blocks? Well, these are for neatness sake. Um, these command blocks just test for a block 
um, and each one represents a block over there. So each block here actually just tests the success count of one. Um, so we didn't have to have the comparators there blocking that all up uh, because I wanted to keep that as compact as possible. And once it has a success count as one, so once one of these command blocks is successful, its relative command block will output a signal to a repeater, which will power this and it will just come to this command block. So each command block at the end of these yellow stained clay um, has an execute command at a, at a block i value, or a block i with a score of one and a c equals minus one. So the oldest entity with a block i value of one. So then it will just fill in a three by three around it. Um, depending on your orientation in relation to the, the entity. So each command block, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, all do the same thing, but just in a different way, like a different orientation. And they have destroy tags, so it drops the, the tile blocks once it's broken instead of uh, replacing it, and also gives the break animation. So lastly, we have these, this chains. These all just set the score um, of the break scoreboard, all 11 of them, to zero. So... Uh, basically, if the player breaks uh, a block, it will just add one to his block, break one, depending on what block is broken. And just so it doesn't keep breaking and breaking and breaking, it resets them after, uh, I think it's one tick. We have one item, one piece of cobblestone in here. And this command block just sets all of these to redstone blocks. Then this one sets them to air, so they just keep activating. And we also have this one here that's uh, set scoreboard objective block I dummy. So when there is a entity on the ground, it gets a block I value of one. But we also have this over here. Um, that is a scoreboard injector remove block I. So it's constantly setting and removing block I just so it resets the all the entities that are on it and it doesn't keep piling them on. So if I was to drop an entity over here and then break a block over there and I went to break a three by three, it would also break a three by three at this block because it still has a block I value of one, but that reset there just uh, means it doesn't. So that's a balancing feature in the way that it's not constantly running, not constantly adding and taking it away, because now if I break it when there is no, um, when these command blocks are up and this one hasn't fired yet, it will not give the three by three break effect because uh, there is no block I value. So I could do it speeding up this clock a little bit and making it that bit more accurate and more reliable, but I think it's a nice speed. It is quite difficult to get it to break the three by three uh, blocks, but in the actual mod, the Team's Construct mod, it takes nine, I think it's just under nine times as long as the, the relative pickaxe. So it's quite balanced in that sense. So it still took me a couple of, couple of hours to do. I uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, there will be a link to download it in the description, of course. Um, if you want to try it out yourself or see if you can make it a little bit better in any way and I'll see you guys next time. So I hope you have a great day or a great night, whatever time it is there and take care. See you again. Bye-bye.